welcome to another video here at Rick Shaves. Okay, guys, so before I forget, don't you forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification to be alert to all future videos I post. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the shave. Okay, guys, so what I got today, I have some Phoenix Arson Accoutrements, the Low Haiku. Now, if you're familiar with this, a particular soap you know that this is their version of high karate which was a very popular uh, uh cologne back in probably i don't know the 60s 70s somewhere in there <clears throat> now i don't own any high karate unfortunately it is kind of expensive but if this is you know anything like it I would say that they uh, they they have a, something pretty good here, guys. Now the smell is pretty masculine, kind of clean. Uh, I'll look up the uh, the notes for the uh, scent profile, and I'll put it probably somewhere. I don't know here, here, somewhere. I'll put it somewhere in there, you know. But it smells really good, guys. It smells definitely like a nice masculine scented soap. Uh, so I'm going to say that they did a pretty good job. Even if it doesn't quite smell like it, it's still a great scented soap and probably one uh, worth checking out. Now, in honor of high karate, uh, you know, it's no longer being made. I found this. Now, what is this, you might say? Some of you probably already know. Some of you wet shaving uh, Jedis out there probably already know what this is. It is the Gillette Track 2, or sorry, the Gillette Deluxe Track 2 razor. Look at this beauty here. It is an all uh, gold. Well, it's not all gold, but it's brown and gold. Has that gold uh, metal you know backing with the metal uh, gold metal head uh, you know this was probably like their more prestigious uh, you know track two that they had and I'll do a little comparison here for the uh, for you guys to see uh, the difference between the original track two which this is and uh, probably came out somewhere in the 70s or 80s. You know, I don't have a, a date code for this particular razor um, because there's nothing in that indicates on here when it actually came out. So anybody who knows uh, when, at least when they stopped making this particular razor, that's what I kind of wanted to know because I can say, well, then it's probably from like, 71 to you know whenever they stopped actually making this particular razor uh, or this version of it so here's a uh i believe this was the uh the carrying case or the uh the um for the uh, track two blades that you could have put in here and um or that went with it there there were some in there but i wasn't going to use those particular uh those particular ones, here I'm going to set this stuff aside here because I don't need it. But it did still come with the uh, this little Track 2 uh, cartridge uh, thing here. This is a, a pamphlet that came with it, you know, which kind of, I guess, just goes, uh, shows you how to use the Track 2 and, how, you know, how the, the holding... Uh, container for the razor thing works old super old piece of paper here uh but yeah guys that is uh pretty neat that is a vintage uh gillette track 2 not sure exactly when this one came out but uh let me go ahead and show you something here i probably should have been more prepared with this because i need to grab some i need to grab a, a track 2 head uh, but let me show you this here first. Now, this is the Gillette 7 o'clock P2, which is the reproduction of this. Now, I'm going to tell you, they look pretty similar. 
they look very similar. This one says Gillette. That one says uh, P2 on it. But as far as weight goes, they feel pretty much the same in my hand. I'm not going to break a scale out and say, oh, this, this one weighs, you know, 0.2 or 0 0.2. And this one's actually 0 0.03. Like, I don't really care about that. Um, but just to appearance wise, they look the same. So if you are interested in the Track 2 system, this is actually a pretty good representation of the original. It looks it looks pretty much the same, guys. It, it even has the same notch underneath the, the track system here. Uh, the backing looks pretty similar. I mean, it might be a little different, but, you know, the jimping on here looks pretty... So I mean, so essentially this is a Track 2, guys. It's just, you know, a little bit more modernized, so to say, than uh, the original one. So let me get a, a Track 2 head as well, because I'm never prepared here. Okay, come on, where are you? Okay, here we go. Here's some Gillette Track 2s here. And I'm just gonna simply slide this through the back here. Hopefully that got it. Yeah, that got it right there. And I'm ready to go. And that's how you would normally, uh, that's how you would normally load your Track 2s by just sliding it on and off. A very simple system uh, no lubricating strip on this one fixed head uh, again the Gillette track 2 that's definitely gonna be a, a, uh, a good one to use here on the on the channel from time to time the brush because I am using a arson uh, soap is the uh, Green Ray from Phoenix. So I'm gonna just stick with kind of Phoenix products today on that end. Uh, great brush, synthetic, kind of that fake horsehair looking brush. And of course, I had to have the matching aftershave. What is, uh, what is it not if you don't complete the whole set with the matching aftershave? Now this is really where it's going to uh, pay off uh, for me, as far as the high karate stuff goes, and I'll talk a little bit about uh, high karate, just uh, some stuff that uh, I found that was pretty interesting uh, as far as like their commercials and stuff. But anyways, that's the shave. Enough talking. Let's get into shaving. All right. I already did my pre-shave routine. Took my shower because you got to be oh so clean. And uh, I'm getting ready for work right now. So, can't be too long on this. I can't babble and ramble all day about shaving, unfortunately. Okay, let's go ahead and bust this bad boy out. Wet the brush. Get that nice and hydrated. Again, great thing about synthetics, you don't need to soak them. Oh, man, this is a good scent of soap, guys. Very masculine. Okay, I don't need a whole lot because I want a more kind of thinner style soap or thinner uh, lather. Oh, man, now this one, I can, I can smell the soap on my face. It is very strong. It's not overwhelmingly strong, though, I would say. We're not going to have to build this one up very much. Again, I'm using a cartridge razor, so I don't want a, a, an uber thick lather. So that's perfect right there. That's more than enough for a second pass, which that's all I'm going to do. Two passes and do my Dr. Evil swipe there. Getting a little bit off my nose and my glasses. My glasses. Okay, let's clear these areas out here of the excess. Don't really need that. Not shaving that far down my neck. Let me know if some of you guys have to shave that area like. You know, where some guys like 
whole beard, like they have a neck beard that connects like to their chest hair. Like I don't have that problem. Thank God, no, nothing against guys that do. Uh, but that just seems like uh, that's kind of uh, miserable to have to shave all, completely everything to your chest pretty much. Um, so yeah. All right guys, let's try this out. Uh, the Vintage uh, Deluxe Track 2. Uh, bought it on eBay. It really wasn't that expensive. Um, I think it was probably somewhere around $25, $30. So it wasn't super expensive, but it was in, it's in great shape. The case, still pretty good shape. It looks like I can tell where somebody sat their drink on it. I think they used it for a coaster a few times, which I was kind of like, that's just disrespectful. Don't use the Razor case as your personal coaster. It's not even what it's for. But uh, the Track 2 is working pretty good. Got kind of already knocked off that uh, first amount of hair there. Soap is really nice, guys. So, oh, so uh, High Karate uh, was a uh, very popular soap back in the day, or at least it seemed like it was. Um, I don't recall when they stopped making. If any of you remember when they stopped producing High Karate, let me know. Um, but if you go back, like, and you can YouTube this, this is what I was talking about, about what I'm going to talk about, about high karate. YouTube, the high karate commercials from back in the day, they are so hilarious. Essentially, it's like, you know, some guy puts on some of it and there's some hot chick in, in the, like a department store or something. Uh, or she, you know, some guy's coming over to some girl's house and she gets this whip of his high karate and she comes like trying to attack him right you know trying to uh you know uh smell him and get get all over him or whatever and he's like trying to fight her off by doing karate moves you know and it's hilarious because it's such great practical effects in the in the commercials because he's like chopping through like coffee tables and like uh chopping like rails to the stairs and stuff like that it's hilarious just check it out trust me if, if you got, you want to kill some time and just laugh at some stupid stuff on the internet, which there's probably plenty of that to do nowadays. All right. Yeah, definitely check out the high karate commercials guys those are hilarious and let me know what you think of those commercials in the comment section below i uh, see we've gotten a few more subscribers thank you very much to those of you that are subscribed and been here since the beginning and uh, you new subscribers thank you very much as well Again, we're going to try and hit that 200 mark and, uh, you know, I'll try and think of something great to do. Maybe I'll shave my head. <laughs> no, uh, I know somebody requested a head shave, so that's in the works. And uh, another person wanted to see another kind of shave war video comparison between like the, uh, the track three, I think it is. Or no, the, uh, not the Track 3, the uh, uh, Gillette Sensor 3 versus the Mach 3. So um, to try and see, you know, I guess do a comparison. So I may, you know, have some of those coming down the line here soon. So, you know, get ready. But I just thought I wanted to highlight this soap. And I wanted to highlight this vintage razor. You know, you guys know I love vintage stuff. I love retro stuff. 
I always compare it to time traveling. Who owned this before? Well, obviously I could tell somebody who used the case as a coffee or as a cup holster or coaster. Um, yeah, somebody did that. But who owned it before them? Who bought this all those years ago? And did they even really use it? I mean, because everything's in here. The original paper's in there. Or was this one that kind of just slipped through and really probably never got used? Again, the razors were in there too, the original razors. But I didn't keep those because I'm not going to use a vintage razor uh, blade. I use this, the handle, for sure, because that's safe. I don't know about the whole... Yeah, even if I sanitize them and all that, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'm not going to take that chance. <laughs> okay, guys, first pass done. Let me go ahead and uh, just wet my face here. Really good. Knocked off all that hair. And that would actually be pretty good for work, if you ask me. Uh, you know, not too bad. Definitely got to get that second pass in though. So let's go ahead and get that in. I'm just going to brush this one on. Again, cartridge razor, you want a light, light lather. You don't want the thick, full, you know, beard buster lather uh, just because it's not really, those, these heads aren't really made for that. You know, these heads aren't really made for for that. They'll get clogged faster, stuff like that, so. Okay. I'm just gonna do in here and then up on the cheek on the neck. Yeah, guys, this is definitely one to get um, if you're interested in that. Or if you're one of, you know, if you're an older chap who happens to remember high karate and you have this or you smelt it, let me know in the comment section below if they actually got close to how it used to smell. Either way, it smells really good. So I'm I'm not I can't complain about the scent. Now hopefully I just remember to uh put the scent profile <laughs> where I said I was. If I don't, I'll put it in the description. One way or another, I'll put it in there somewhere. So you kind of know what goes into this. Oh yeah, feels really good. Okay, let's get this neck area, guys, and I will be done. Very slick. I'll have to tell you that. You should know if you ever use a Phoenix product, you essentially know you're gonna get something good. I've never had one. As far as 
performance wise, I've never had one that disappointed that was just like, oh, this is a terrible, you know, version of it or something like that. They all work great. Scent wise, I've had a couple duds where I just didn't care for the scent. At, on face value, I thought I would, just reading the description. But when I actually got the tub, I was like, mm, no, not a big fan. So I gave those ones away. But again, that's only like a couple out of all the ones I actually own. And I own quite a few Phoenix soaps. I don't know. Some people uh, don't like the fact that there's so many. And uh, I get that if you were, uh, if you were to just start. Uh, a business but you know they've been doing this for years you know and um, since like the early 2010s I think and uh, so they uh, they've built a you know a, a line of soaps that um, you know uh, you can uh, choose from different scents and stuff like that. You know, I'm sure he started out with a few basic core ones and then built off of that. So, again, I don't know. I wasn't buying those back then. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, rinse off. Cold water rinse, as usual. Get this water to get cold. There we go. Super slick. Got a few little nicks there. Yeah, normally I don't nick myself, but... I have pushed too hard, you know? I've been uh, getting too comfortable with these razors. with using the, like the track twos and stuff like that, the other twin blade systems. Uh, I think I need to get back to doing my DE shaving to steady my hand and remind me that, you know, hey, you need to have a light touch. Even with these, you can't push too hard. And I think that's what I've been doing in certain strokes. I've been kind of pushing a little too aggressively because I'm trying to get through it quick. Okay. That was probably close to almost four days worth of growth. And uh, it's gone, guys. It is gone and my face feels really awesome. And now we're going to use some of this. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead. And... It smells pretty good. Smells a lot, a little different than the soap, but we'll see. Now, this should not be mentholated. I know some of them are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's good. Mmm, yeah. A little sting. A little sting on the cheek, really around this area, especially where I kind of nick myself. But other than that, it's not terrible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm going to start doing karate moves and chopping the camera in half. <laughs> I can't do that. I want to be able to make these entertaining videos for you. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, this smells really good. It's definitely a unique scent. Pretty strong. Um, you know, so uh, if you're not a fan of that, um, if you like more of a lighter scent or a uh, more of like a fresher scent, this isn't it for you. This definitely is more on the, has more darker notes to it, I would say, and definitely has uh, more of a masculine scent. But it's, it smells good nonetheless, and my skin feels great. It's soft, it's smooth. Uh, this one of the great things about Phoenix um, aftershaves 
is that they really do tone and, and you know, care for your skin. Um, to the point where I, I don't have to put on a, a shave balm afterwards. Which I think would kind of knock out the scent a little bit. You know, even with some of these, like this one's supposed to be like lightly scented. But, you know, I don't want that low haiku. <clears throat> Excuse me, that low haiku scent to be diminished. And also what's great about these is you can use them as a cologne too. So if you wanted to, you could, you know, however you apply cologne. Some guys don't uh, just apply it to their skin. You can apply it to your clothing. This is an undershirt I use for work, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, mostly it should be probably applied to your skin areas, wrist, neck, you know, maybe shoulders if you have a spray type, uh, maybe once somewhere on the chest if that's how you're gonna do it. You know, you don't have to go crazy with it. You just, you know, gotta pick an area that, you know, you want it to, to smell. And then it's going to smell different on your skin than it would like on your clothes. So you have to remember that too. And it probably may smell different from person to person because, you know, we all don't smell the same. So this one comes off probably smelling really, you know, animalistic, you know, because I'm such an animal. <laughs> so, all right, guys, let's go ahead and recap real quick. I'm done making stupid jokes. The Vintage Track 2 Razor, the Deluxe. This was the, uh, probably what, um, you know, some aristocrat, Bought back then, and he says, "Yes, I have to shave my ass with this." You know, something, <laughs> something like that. You know, uh, I don't know how much one of these would have cost back in the day. Again, I don't even know when they stopped making this razor. I've checked on forums, and most people said, "Well, they started making them probably around '71." Well, I said, "Well, of course, that's when this this particular system came out." But when did they stop making it? That way I have more or less an, an, an between, this a, between this year and this year to figure that out. Okay. Phoenix, Arsene Accoutrements. Low Haiku. Great stuff, guys. Smells wonderful. Even if they didn't hit the mark, which if some of you guys know, let me know if it even comes close. But even if they didn't, it actually smells really good. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be fighting off any women, maybe my wife, you know, but uh, I have to do that out anyways. So, <laughs> um, let's see here. The brush was the Green Ray from Phoenix. There was plenty of lather in there. I didn't even do probably like maybe what five, six second load on that thing, and tons of lather still in it. And then, of course, I have the matching aftershave and cologne. Don't forget that. So, yeah, it smells good. Now that it's really kind of dulled down, it's much lighter. It was very strong when I first put it on, but now... Oh, yes. Strong with the dark side, this one is. Oh, man, it smells great. It is definitely on the darker notes, so, you know, if you are a Sith Lord, you might like it, so. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for me. If you like the video, hit the big old thumbs up. If uh, you, were, if you uh, want to, you can also comment down below any of the questions I've asked, or if you just want to, you know, put, you know, just chat or, you know, say hello. I you know, usually respond to all the comments. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel. We are still trying to build the Shave Army and uh, we are getting there. You know, I think we're somewhere around 120 something, you know. So uh, again, thank you to all you new subscribers and you guys who've been around for a while. I appreciate your support and go ahead and hit the bell notification as well. I had to think about that one. Um, but that reminds you that whenever I do post a video, it'll, you know, you'll get a little notification for it. Okay, guys, uh, again, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you on the next one. Take care.